Hey, everybody. OK, Taz is not behaving. Say hi, hey, Taz. Here's Taz. Taz, the Tasmanian devil. He wanted to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, but he's he's uh, uh, not liking that I have snafu'd him. Anyway, there is Mr. Taz. Wave hi, everybody. I think he's going to end up leaving us. I wanted to quickly do a Facebook Live instead of my usual um, e-tip that I do every Wednesday mornings. Um, and the reason for that is I'm, this is a bit of an experiment and also my just my special Christmas wished for, for everybody. But um, I'm making some ch changes and some, um, some, I have some ideas that I am thinking about and uh, wanted to see about incorporating more Facebook Lives into my, um, into my eVision Media training and tips that I do. And so that is, uh, this is kind of the, the beginning of all of that to see how it all works. So I hope that everybody um, likes this. Obviously, this is a little bit unrehearsed. Taz was not behaving. I'll try and bring him back. Sorry about that. <laughs> but uh, I, I wanted to talk about gratitude and, and maybe if you can help me out by getting things started and let me know what gratitude means to you. What is it when you think about gratitude, you know, what do you think it, it, it means for you? And, and also I would like to know if you find that um, it's almost an overused word nowadays. And I know that, um, that we hear, oh, you have to be grateful, you have to be grateful. And, and I, I heard that for many years, you know, oh, just show your gratitude, be grateful. And that, you know, that law of attraction will come into play. And then all of a sudden, uh, you know, you'll get everything you need and, uh, you know, life will be wonderful and amazing. And, and, it's, and uh, you know, darn those law of attraction people, right? <laughs> Shout out to Dana Smithers if she's on the line. <laughs> but um, what I have found over the years is gratitude is definitely, definitely a part of our successful equation. But I suspect that many people are like me who um, really didn't quite get it, didn't quite understand what gratitude, what it really needs to be in place in order for it to actually be effective and work for you. And so that's why I wanted to hear from you. Maybe I'm the only one. Maybe I'm the only one who actually um, uh, didn't quite get it at first for many years. And uh, then all of a sudden, I, I, it started to make sense. And then all of a sudden, uh, once I practiced that more often, uh, I was starting to see a lot of uh, results out of it. So, so type in the comments and, and let me know what gratitude means to you. And what is, uh, you know, what is, you, what is it that you think you need to do in order to uh, use gratitude in your daily life? And, and then let's, let's have a, a chit chat about that. And so while you're talking about that, then I also wanted to talk about what everybody does at Christmas time as far as giving thanks. Um, do you have a practice for your business, you know, this, this uh, video is more uh, for the entrepreneurs and, and business people out in the group, but also, uh, you know, salespeople, like there's lots of people who can um, use the, the effort of, of giving thanks. And I'm wanting to know what your practice is in giving thanks at Christmas time, and obviously not at Thanksgiving, but at, at Christmas time, do you make it a practice of letting people know how grateful you are that they are a part of your life somehow? Whether that is that they are a client of yours or a support person of yours of some sort, um, your, do they provide a service that uh, you find invaluable and that you, um, you know, really need to have them as part of your business, like your accountant and your lawyer and you know, all of those kinds of people. I, I know for, for Dan and I, and this is something that, that Daniel brought into our relationship um, that I, it hadn't occurred to me before to do this. And ever since uh, he's been in my life, every year we wrap up a box of chocolates and write out a Christmas card and we give one to our mail lady. Uh, we are eternally grateful for her because instead of making us go to the post office, you know, probably two, three times a week to go pick up parcels, she comes and delivers them to our door. And a delightful lady, um, and she's actually the second person, the first person uh, moved, but we, you get to know these people, you get to know about their lives and, 
and, and what's going on with them. And so we, every year we give them, um, and give our male lady a, a box of chocolates. And we also give our, um, our uh, garbage truck guys. You know, who gives the garbage truck guys a box of chocolates, right? And so do you do that? I would love to know if that's a practice that you do. Do you share with people how grateful that you are, that they are helping you in some way? Um, you know, your VIP clients, do you send them anything? Do you, um, or, or the, your, um, you know, the, the people that support you and your business? Uh, we have an accountant that we, you know, give our thanks to and stuff like that too. So I would love to hear from you right in the comments and, and let me know what, um, you know, what, what is it for you that could, uh, that, that you, you do? What is your ritual? What is, what is your method? of sharing um, how thankful you are for uh, having people um, support you and your business because um, without people, man, it's tough. It's tough to, uh, to have a successful business, isn't it? Can I hear a shout out on that one? <laughs> Thumbs up for, um, you know, for that. So let's go back to gratitude. I had um, hinted that a lot of people really don't um, practice it in the, in the way that it's meant to be practiced as far as the law of attraction is concerned. And when you think about it, um, you know, gratitude and love are like at the highest vibrational echelon of our, of our energy, where hate and anger and all that kind of stuff is right at the bottom. So it, it, when it, I'm not going to go into a lot of philosophy about how uh, vibrationally, you know, quantum physics works in this field, but do know that it is science-based. And I think that's one of the things that really, um, you know, caught my eye is that, uh, it, you know, it's, it's not just fluff. Uh, uh, you know, this stuff really is scientifically based. And so if you want to learn way more about how the law of attraction works, you know, go ahead and, uh, and, and look up Dana Smithers. She's a law of attraction expert coach and she, uh, you know, knows this stuff um, much, much uh, more deeper. But anyway, my point is, is that in, um, when we're told that, oh, just be grateful and, and more of what you're grateful for will come back to you, which is very true. Uh, but I think the missing key that, um, that I know I missed for many years is that um, you need to not just say the words. You can't just say, oh yes, I'm grateful for that. There, there is no energy behind those words. I remember I was saying that, you know, love and, and gratefulness is at the top of that energetic level, but in order for it to be at that top of energetic level, in order to, um, uh, to rally up the troops and create that, that butterfly effect, of, of all of the um, energy to come back to you uh, from that energy that you've given out, you know, that law of reciprocation, right? Um, in order for that to work, you actually have to feel gratitude. You need to feel it. And the, and the deeper and the more emotional feeling of that gratitude, the more effective it's going to be, the more you're going to get back of what you were grateful for. So does that make sense where you, um, you can't just say the words, you just can't say, oh yeah, I'm thankful for, you know, write in your journal, uh, yeah, I'm thankful for the lights, you know, I'm like, thankful for my health and you're not really feeling it, you know, like you'll, you'll end it with a caveat. Yeah, I'm thankful for my health, except I really wish I didn't have that headache today or whatever, right? Or I wish I had more energy. Well, then you're not really thankful for your health if you're not thankful for something else to go with it. And so what I do and what I have done and uh, for a few years now is I do write in a gratitude journal almost every night. And, uh, and, I, and I think really intensely of, of what I'm grateful for. And sometimes what I'm grateful for would seemingly be a negative thing. Like say uh, I lost a client. I will actually um, write in my gratitude journal how grateful I am that that experience happened because even though I might have lost a client, I learned a lot of valuable insight as a result and I can take that information and apply it um, to help avoid losing a client in the future. And so um, I had to, f you have to feel that gratitude though in order for that to, um, to really work. And I got to tell you that it does really work because okay, we'll use that example as uh, losing a client. And this has happened more than once, like several times. Not that we lose lots of clients <laughs> over years. <laughs> um, we, you know, if we have, um, if we've lost a client, 
uh, both Daniel and I will, uh, you know, practice that, that exercise of gratitude and be grateful for the opportunity to have gotten to know them, to have been able to work with them, to have help, helped them in, any, in, in the way that we knew we, we were helping them, uh, and also the lessons learned. And, and we'll write it out in our journal. And sure enough, um, within a day or two, that person will get replaced. Like, you know, we'll have a new client come on board. And somebody who is extremely grateful for us and extremely um, happy and, you know, they're an A-plus client. And so that, that's, the, that's what I wanted to share with you is, you know, feel that gratitude and, uh, and write it in your gratitude journal. Even if it's something negative, find something positive to think about and, and start practicing the true, deep down, emotionally drived gratitude. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you that the quantum physics will come into play and the law of reciprocation will happen. So um, I, I would still love to know about your practices, about thanking the people that support you in your business. Uh, just leave it in the comments below what you do, what your practice is and, and what you think should be happening. And, and also, um, you know, share with me your practice of, of gratitude and any stories that you might have that um, support that, that, you know, I'm, I'm not the only one out there. I know I'm not, <laughs> where gratitude really does make a big difference. So um, I wanted to wish everybody a wonderful, amazing holiday season. I know that not everybody um, is a practicing Christian and or uh, practices um, Christmas at all. And, and I want to respect that. And so even though obviously I do, I have our, our tree in the background here, and that doesn't mean that I don't wish everybody to have the holiday spirit within their hearts and still have that feeling of gratefulness and, and thankfulness in their hearts and, um, and embrace the spirit of the season. And, uh, you know, regardless of any religious connotations or, or holiday decorations or, uh, you know, all of that kind of stuff that, um, that goes along with it. Um, I don't. Uh, I don't see any reason why anybody can't be wished a, a wonderful holiday season with the spirit that is intended, and uh, and the the family and relationships and the wonderful uh, camaraderie that happens just that time of the year. So, thank you all for um, watching my e-tips for the last several years. I'm going to be doing more of these lives in uh, in the coming up. Um, 2018 and so I uh, hope that you'll join me come along for the ride and do let me know if there's any topic that you want me to talk about I would be more than happy to share so um, so that's it bye everybody